How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel here and today we're going to talk about the ghost touch issues on our iPad Air, iPad Pro and iPad Mini. Let's you try to use your iPad and all of a sudden your touch has started working very strangely and randomly. Or you might think, wait a minute, you're not even touching your iPad touchscreen, but it's working in a very strange way. Well, this is so-called the ghost touch issues, but hey, don't worry, because I'm going to just go ahead and give you a couple of ways to solve your problem immediately. So let's get started. Well, not to solve your ghost touch issues problem on your iPad, there are a few things you might want to take a look at. First, your touch, of course, and the screen protector and the cover itself. The very first thing that you guys can do, especially if your touch is getting either oily or if it has a lot of dust and particle happen to be on your touch, then this issue can happen sometimes. All you can do, go ahead and grab your cloth and clean your touch very carefully. Right after that, if you see still it's happening, what's going on on your screen, the next thing we're going to talk about is your screen protector. Now, if you're using a, let's say, incompatible screen protector for your iPad, this is also going to rise on your iPad. Therefore, remove your screen protector and see if that works or not. Well, some people, even they change their screen protector, but still they have problem because of their case. Well, if you have the round edges case for your iPad, go ahead and remove that and see if that works or not. Now, let's say you have just done doing this three process, but still you got the problem and your problem is not solved. Then the next thing that you guys want to do, just go ahead and press that volume up button and down button and press and hold your power button and keep it holding unless you see the app logo appears on your iPad. Right after giving the force to restore, it will remove the minor bugs or glitches and your problem will be solved. However, if you're still experiencing the same problem here on your iPad, well, the next thing that you guys got to do, you need to just open up your settings on your iPad here. Once you come over here, make sure to choose your general and from this side, go ahead and tap on transfer and reset iPad. From here, tap on reset and choose reset all settings. Now tap on reset here and give it twice. And right after that, your iPad is going to take a restart and your problem is going to be solved. However, though, even after doing all the process so far, so good, if you still see you have the same problem on your iPad, well, that could mean it has to some hardware related issue. In that case, you got to take your iPad to the Apple Care. Hopefully, they will solve the problem for yourself. All right, guys, if you found this video useful, if you think so, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Peace out.